Hey guys, Tatiana Ward here with BeatFaceHoney.com and thank you so much for joining me. So did you ever want bangs but not want to cut your hair? Well, so did I. So after watching Beyonce's countdown video and she had the little updo with the little scarf and the bangs and I was like, I want to do that but I'm not going to cut my hair. I figured out for you, uh, if you have longer hair, how you can swing that. And I'm sure a lot of you can already see what I've done here, but in case you don't know what I did here to get these bangs, you can stay tuned and find out. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start this by saying that I have blow dried my hair and I've also flat ironed it just to make sure that the, uh, the ends in particular are really flat because that's what's going to be our bang. And before you ask, um, I didn't do anything special with my makeup. I just filled in my eyebrows using the same stuff that I always use. And for lips, I used Max Angel, which is like a light pink, and a drugstore brand called NYC in Dusty Rose. Put that over top of Angel. On my cheeks is Fleur Power, Fleur Power. It's just like a really pretty pink. And I winged my eyes with uh, Wet n Wild's gel liner. I do have fake lashes on and I put a dark purple eyeshadow under my eye. So I have absolutely no eyeshadow on. Um, instead, to clean up my lid, I just put concealer on my lid and use a setting powder. So nothing really amazing going on with my makeup here. Now to start this, I'm going to just pull my hair back and brush it back. I did put a ton of argon oil in my hair as well as just leaving some conditioner in there. I didn't want it to be super clean so I needed some of that oil especially on the ends again because we need them to lay as flat as possible. Okay so I'm taking a brush and I'm just brushing my hair up. I'm going to put this as high on my head as I can because my hair is pretty long but it's not long enough to where I can set the bun back. I have to bring it up front so that we can uh, get the bang to be longer. And I've taken a headband. Um, this is like what I normally use to put up my hair with and I'm just going to wrap it around so that I've made it smaller. And I'm gonna pull my hair through a few times just to make sure that it's tight enough. I looped it around about three times and now I'm going to pull it through but not all the way. Just pulling it like that. And now you can see that that's like just sitting on my head. It looks kind of funny. But now I didn't really get enough, so I'm just going to pull it through just a little bit more. Here we go. I have some bobby pins. Um, I love that they are now making bobby pins to be like more colors than black. Bobby pins I never really even use, but I'm going to pin my hair to my hair just to make sure that number one that stays in place and I'm gonna do that on both sides now that it's kind of flapped down and taking some hairspray I'm gonna spray the hell out of this also spraying the back of my head and I'll probably spray it about a hundred more times Okay, now we can focus on the bang. I just want to take it by sections and curl it under. Just taking my flat iron, taking it at the top and then making sure I'm holding it down. And I'm pulling these sides to where I need them to be. It's not going to be really consistent because my hair isn't quite one, one length. And 
and I'm just taking it piece by piece and curling it. And mine is going to have to more so be pushed to the side because my hair is too long to pull it out any more than I already have up here. So um, I guess I could have set my bun back a little bit further instead of bringing it up so high. Yeah, and I got these streaks in here now. Awesome. Look, it's like a slinky. It's like a slinky. Uh. And you really could just leave it like that if you wanted to. Um, but to be more Beyonce-esque, because who doesn't want to be like Beyonce? Ugh. I'm going to take a scarf. This is just a scarf that I had laying around. I folded it a few times going over my ears. I'm going to wrap it in the back. And now that I did the crisscross, I'm just going to pin it right there. And I'm making sure I'm just sticking some bobby pins in here. And I'm going to take it in the front. And instead of making the bow like Beyonce did, I'm just going to tuck this because my head is too big. My head is too big to be tying no daggone bow. Well, it's a little lopsided, but you get it. So, um, I like this. I had bangs before, and I look like the biggest idiot with them. So, this is a great little way to make yourself look like you have bangs without being committed to actually having bangs. Yeah, so I hope you guys like it, and mm, I hope that you can find this useful. Yeah, I think I'm going to try this again and just um, move the hair a little bit further back just because I didn't need as much hair as I thought I would. Um, but this is totally the first time that I've ever done this, so I'm pleased with it for being my first time. So yeah, in total, and keep in mind, again, this was my first time doing this, without the blow drying and flat ironing, which obviously takes time, but just the actual style itself, I would say that it literally took me about um, 15 minutes. So, not so bad. I'll give you a look at the back. But there it is. Um, obviously, I'm going to have to spray all of this. I'm going to throw on some hoops, too, just to complete the look, because I feel like I look horrible with my hair up without um, hoops on. Yeah, and thanks to my girlfriends, Coco and Coco, that just started their YouTube um, cooking slash style hair makeup tutorials online. There's some really good friends of mine. Some of you may recognize them from I'm Not My Makeup. And um, sh this was her idea. So big ups to her. Thank you so much, Coco. Coco Hendrix, that is. And um, if you guys want to see her do this tutorial, all you got to do is let her know. She'd probably do a whole hell of a lot better job at it considering that uh, this was my first time. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and oh, for those of you who entered the PYT contest, don't forget that I'm going to be shutting that down at 8 o'clock on a Friday night. So if you have not already subscribed to all of my social networks as well as all of PYT's social networks and made a comment on my Facebook on the status update that I put up regarding this contest, then make sure you do that now. Uh, somebody out there is going to win one of PYT's awesome curling irons. So, um, yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you right back here very soon. Bye.